it's possible, as it were, um, it's possible that because I have friends among them, people who've left Islam in Britain and in Western Europe recently, and as a result fear for their lives in Britain and in Western Europe recently, it's possible that I have an extra sensitivity to it. Because yes, I've seen some of the hard edges of what Islam does in Europe today uh, to people who try to leave their religion. Hello guys, what's up? Hi guys, hope you guys are feeling good. Welcome back to the show now, this year keep it like real simple. I'm going to be checking out a quick clip by Douglas Murray, uh, where he talked and went in a debate with Tariq Ramadan. Anyways, with no further ado, let's just bounce and let's check out this video goes. Let's go. And let me point one thing, which is once again said to us. The motion is, is there only good things coming from cre uh, uh, building a mosque? And we are saying yes. And what we have on the other side is, no, sometimes bad things could happen with anything. If you are going to build gym, some people could broken their arms. So don't do this. It's silly. It's a silly argument. We are talking about the principles, and the principles are for the future of Greece, it's good to build the mosque because this is the reality of a pluralistic society with dignity and respect for all the citizens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Professor Tredefili, would you like to add anything to the... No, I think I will pass for the sake of okay, more questions. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, um, I want to pick up on... Uh, Tariq Ramadan's last point there. Um, it would depend, wouldn't it, about the gym, whether or not there was a history in this set of gyms of teaching people how to break arms. <laughs> it, it, it would depend whether arm breaking were, as it par were part of the curriculum. Um, <laughs> and it would be a very silly person who, if it was part of the curriculum in that particular gym, kept going anyway. Um, somebody in the, in the audience asked if, if, if the fact that I'm an atheist is anything to do with this. I, I, I have no idea. Um, it's possible, as it were. Um, it's possible that because I have friends among them, people who've left Islam in Britain and in Western Europe recently, and as a result fear for their lives in Britain and in Western Europe recently, it's possible that I have an extra sensitivity to it. Because yes, I've seen some of the hard edges of what Islam does in Europe today uh, to people who try to leave their religion. Um, I just wanted to quickly pick up on another couple of points. Firstly, uh, the issue here uh, uh, that uh, Tariq Ramadan came up with about democracy in the Arab world, he obviously, I don't blame him for it, but he obviously doesn't read any of my writing. Um, <laughs> I've never supported President Mubarak um, and uh, haven't up till now and won't now onwards. Um, Clearly, uh, Professor Ramadan doesn't read what I write. He would otherwise also know, however, that the reason why there are a lot of people who are very worried about Egypt in its next phase, I'm not one of them, I'm generally rather positive about the direction that Egypt and other countries will be able to take now that they've thrown off, in some cases, the dictators. Uh, nevertheless, the reason why there is some fear is because of the terrorist movement started by your grandfather, Tarek, which poses such a threat to the Muslim Brotherhood, to Egypt and Egypt's future, because some of us are very fearful that like uh, the Brotherhood's offshoot the Hamas in the Gaza they will have one election once and murder the opposition as the Hamas did <laughs> finally this has to be said uh, Tariq Ramadan said the only word I know is pluralism it appears that isn't the only word he knows he also knows the word smear he knows, and I think you, you clearly underestimate this audience, if you think you simply have to come to Greece and say that your opponents are pro-Israel lobby and that you'll be able to turn against them. How on earth can somebody who charms the people and tries to tell people that he is a progressive Muslim voice come to Athens and simply try to smear any opponent of his point of view by saying they must be pro-Israel, secretly, behind the scenes. And if he doesn't know what he's doing on that, I can assure him that the rest of us do. <laughs> wow. Anyways, Douglas Murray, I have to stand ground here. Like, he has to stand a solid ground here. I know I've, I've watched a lot of his um, debates, a lot of his discussions, and I've, I've never seen him to this ground so fame like this. I know this is a short clip. I'm going to be looking for the full clip. But he just to this ground so solid like <laughs> some of us do, you know. 
But there's there's one question I really want to ask out there, and I want your comments on this question. Do people get threatened when they leave the Islam religion? Like, do people get threatened when they leave the Muslim religion? Because I really don't know about that. I fairly don't know about it that people get threatened if they leave um, their own religion. Do you guys really get threatened? Because I feel like religion should be something free. It should be a choice. It should be an option. It shouldn't be forced on anyone. But hearing Dr. Mary say this for the first time, I feel like I I want to get I want to get an answer for it, and I want to know if people get scared of leaving their own religion instead of them to be talked to calmly and being persuaded back to religion again. But now they are fleeing for their own life, and this is not even they are fleeing for their own life in a country where is a Muslim country. This is in the UK. I've been to that extent. And Douglas Murray have been saying this thing that UK can get up to the extent that this um, Islamic religion can have a strong foundation in that country. You know? And I really, I really just want to know, like, for real. I want to know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching and watch out for more. Peace. And God bless you.